Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find the most in-depth video walkarounds on our different Ford models specific to the trim. So we uh, break it down, we give you all the standard equipment as well as different packages, optional equipment, they're all available in each of the different trim levels for each of the different models. Uh, just like we're going to do with this particular vehicle with the Bronco video here with the Badlands, we're going to do the same thing with that video. So if you like some of those types of videos or maybe some of our how-to videos, Click the red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So in this one, we are going to kind of break down and kind of talk about the Bronco. And if you're in the process of deciding whether or not you want to reserve one, and maybe you want Law MacArthur to be a reserving uh, dealer and have it uh, delivered here, and we will deliver anywhere in the country for free. More information about that is going to be at the end of the video, so uh, refer to that. That timestamp is also down below if at any time you want to go ahead and, and get more information about that. Uh, you can go ahead and move to that at the end of the video. But you can reserve your Bronco from us. Every dealership has their dedicated URL. Uh, and you need to check. Not all Ford dealerships are set up to do reservations for the Ford Bronco. They have to be signed up with Ford Pay. And if they're not signed up and, and set up for that, uh, then they can't be a delivering dealership for these and they can't be reserved this way. So just getting a $100 deposit from you and knowing what trim it is from the dealership isn't going to be it. You want to make sure you get that notification email from Ford if you went into the Ford dealership and had them run through it on the internet on their computer. So that's how you want to reserve it. You can do that at our website, lawmacarthur.com. Click under the new tab, go down to new Bronco offers and then click on over. You'll see our, our Bronco page. Then click on that URL to reserve your Bronco and it would be the uh, dedicated dealership to go ahead and deliver your Bronco there. So uh, just keep that in mind as we move forward. So we're going to talk about the Badlands. Uh, now Badlands is being kind of compared to for the Jeep to the Rubicon version. So it is our extreme off-roading version here. Uh, what's uh, different about the Badlands is that it's going to have some similarities to your Black Diamond. Uh, with some different look and more options are going to be available. So Black Diamond had the mid, mid package available, whereas with the Badlands, you're going to have the option to have a high package as well as Lux package and uh, many, many standalone options to choose from that can be added in a la carte kind of to this package. And this edition is, the, is where you're going to see the stabilizer bar disconnect that is going to be standard equipment. And that's the, other than the first edition, that is the only way you can get that feature uh, for the Ford Bronco. So you keep that in mind too. So uh, you're going to see this is going to have that washed out interior. You're going to start with vinyl with an option of leather and some other things. So uh, let's go ahead and break down and go through this. We're going to start with the exterior first and then we'll move on through the different features of the vehicle. Now, talking about the exterior here, uh, just like with all the other versions, there's going to be a lot of similarities to the Black Diamond. So as you run through these fairly quickly, especially if you watch some of those other videos, I don't want to bore you too much. Uh, but this will have, of course, a manual swing open gate like we're seeing on all the Broncos, the flip up rear glass if you have the hard top. Uh, also, you're going to have the spare full matching spare tire. So remember what wheel and tire combination you have, that's what's going to be on the back of the Bronco as your spare tire. Uh, and it'll be set up, of course, with a tire pressure monitoring system like the rest of the, uh, the wheels and tire combination. For the four-door, it's going to come standard in your soft top. Uh, and then we'll talk about different available hard tops later. The two-door is not available in a soft top, only available with the hard top. It'll be the molded in carbonite gray, just like the same type of top that you did see on the black diamond version. Removable top, of course, whether it be the soft or the hard top. Uh, so you can remove that. Also removable doors. So those doors can come out and they can be stored in the back, whether it be a two-door or a four-door, they can be stored back there. So that way it's nice and easy to be able to take that off, put them in the back, especially if you have a soft top and you're on a trip, then you can put those doors back on, the top back on, lock it up and feel pretty secure that way. So also your door handles will be molded in uh, black, uh, like we did see with the uh, black diamond there. Daytime running lights, configurable or non-configurable, of course, uh, they are the same equipment as you see in the base on up. The grill, so grill is going to look a little different than the black diamond. So instead of black, it's going to be carbonite gray, uh, carbonized gray, I should say, with the white Bronco badge. So it'll look a little different. We'll have LED headlights and LED signature lighting, the light that kind of comes in there from the middle of the, the headlights towards the middle, that's going to be a feature that's going to be included with this uh, too. The mirrors are going to be a power heated mirror. They will be a black mirror cap. 
uh, and they will be manual fold. Uh, one thing you'll notice with these mirrors is that they're attached to the uh, to where the windshield is there. So that way, when you take the doors off, they're still going to be functional, be of use for you. Uh, you're going to always have a mirror there that way, so that way you can see behind you even with those doors off. So it comes in real handy that way. Uh, for this version, you will have an upgraded bash plate uh, to the front of it. So probably a little more high strength uh, material there, so that way it will protect it. You also get rock rails as well uh, for your Badlands edition here. Two front tow hooks, one rear tow hooks, just like we did see on all the Broncos so far. Upgraded front bumper, so you will get that heavy duty modular front bumper up there that's been optional on some of the other trims. Uh, it's going to be standard equipment on this one. I believe Black Diamonds is also standard equipment. Uh, and then you're going to also get the privacy glass for those, uh, the second row uh, side as well as the rear flip up glass. You have that for the two door. And then you're going to have, of course, rear view camera. It's going to be standard equipment as an exterior feature as well as auto high beams. Uh, like your, uh, you know, in some of your vehicles have had auto high beam, auto headlights. Uh, auto high beams will come on when it gets dark. If there's no one in front of you, you're not in the city lights. Uh, of course, you, you get into the city, or if car approaches you, it's going to automatically dim that. Now, that is a feature can be activated and deactivated in your settings uh, for you, just like with any other Ford vehicle. And in the past, uh, I have actually thrown some of those features into the safety. I want to include those because they really, in my opinion, are an exterior feature. So I went ahead and flipped that around for this video. Now, optional equipment for your exterior. Uh, let's talk about your tops. Of course, the hard top for your four-door version will be that carbonized gray, like we did see for the uh, black diamond. And then you also get the modular hard top and body colored and the black. So you do have an option, uh, two options, just like we did see in the outer banks edition. So now you're gonna have either a body colored uh, hard top that you can get, or you can get that shadow black painted. And that's gonna be for the two-door or the four-door version. So uh, if you get a two-door and you want the body color, that's going to be available as well as the shadow black painted. Dual tops, which means for your four-door versions, you can get a, the soft top that comes with it, but you can also get a hard top. So, of course, that will be available in those three different versions. Carbonized gray, painted black, or your body color painted uh, top to go along with that. So, that's how that will work. So, two doors, not going to be available with the soft top. Uh, so, keep that in mind if you're ordering your vehicles. Also, as optional equipment to go along with that front bumper, you can get the brush guard. So it does require, of course, this one's going to have the front of the heavy duty front bumper, um, but you can get that as optional equipment. You can get that brush guard that can be ordered on it. Also, as optional equipment that I threw in from the safety uh, to the exterior, because I, I feel like they're an exterior feature, and that is you can get front sensing system or reverse sensing system. So they are two different options there for you. So you'd have to order them both. Uh, if you want a total uh, forward and back sensing, pretty much a parameter sensing system for you, but that can be ordered as optional equipment as well. Now let's talk about interior features similar to the Black Diamond. A lot of these are gonna be about the same as the uh, what's standard on the Black Diamond uh, with many optional equipment uh, for you. Some great options that we did see in the Outer Banks that's going to be available on the Badlands Edition here. So interior wise, you're going to see, of course, the remote keyless entry with push button start. So you'll have that push button start as standard equipment. Uh, you will have the upgraded high level instrument panel. Uh, we did see that as descripted for the outer banks as well. So that's going to be an upgrade from the black diamond that we didn't see. Rubberized flooring with your drain plug. So this is again, uh, two ways that you see that is in your black diamond as well as in this one. So pretty much allowing you to wash out that interior. It will come with carpeted mats for the, fir the first row and for the four door versions, you also get carpeted mats for the rear seat uh, back there too. Uh, the center console with the convenient uh, media bin up there and some things you'll, to note about the center console, there will be a PowerPoint inside the console is what they're telling us, as well as, of course, it'll have power windows uh, for it, uh, the vehicle, so you will be able to have those controls on the front of the console. That's where they'll be located, not on a dash like the Jeep has. They'll be actually on the front of that console, uh, as well as you'll get two USB ports on the front of the console, a USB type C and a USB type A, which is your typical USB port. So, and then there'll be also a PowerPoint in the rear cargo area. Now, for those in this, the, behind the console, you're gonna notice you'll have the, the power window switches for those uh, four-door models will be back there, positioned back there, so they can lower their windows down, as well as you're gonna see uh, two more USB ports, and, uh, just like on the front, USB type C and a USB type A up there uh, for you to be able to use. 
Leather wrap steering wheel is going to be standard equipment with the Bronco badge. Of course, have cruise control as well as your redundant audio controls right there. We'll have the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so it'll go up and down, forward and back as well. We've seen that on pretty much all of them so far, uh, having that same features. Now, you do have the panels on the back of those seats for the front uh, driver and front passenger, uh, so that way you can kind of go ahead and hook different things, carabiner hooks. Uh, four different things, water bottles, whatever it might be. The image is showing uh, some water bottles back there, but you can uh, you know, put your ropes if you're a rock climber or whatever, kind of put those uh, right there close to get to so you can just open the door, grab them off of there if you need to. Uh, so this is really for that outdoor adventure, that true off-roader. Uh, you're gonna want, uh, that'll be some nice feature to have there. Your climate control will be a manual single zone climate control. So that's gonna be standard equipment. We'll get into another uh, option for you later. Uh, for your audio controls, AM, FM, stereo, uh, stereo with six speakers, it's going to be standard equipment. will come with the Sirius XM with the 360L, uh, so that'll be available as well as you'll have the Sync 4 system with the 8-inch LCD touchscreen here. So it'll come with the 8-inch touchscreen. We'll talk about available upgrading that to that, that the 12-inch that we've been seeing on so many pictures. Come with 911 Assist as well as uh, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will be standard equipment uh, on these uh, as uh, for this as well as the for the sync 4 system there uh, with the ford pass connect where you can stay connected to your vehicle using the ford pass app make and receive or you can go ahead and remote start your vehicle from anywhere unlock and lock your vehicle locate your vehicle using the app with that so be able to remote start it that way um, and then for the seats you will have the uh, marine grade vinyl seats like we saw with the black diamond It'll give you the manual adjustment six way for the driver and front passenger seats. Uh, and then the, of course, the seat configuration in the back. Two door version will be a 50-50 split bench seat that can fold flat. They're saying fold flat, doesn't look like it's completely flat from some of the images that I've found. And then for your four door version, a 60-40 split bench seat that you can seat three in the back and fold those seats down as well. So that's all your interior features that are standard. Let's talk about some optional equipment. Now, as we talk about some of these option equipment, keep in mind uh, what's fortunately on the website are these are individual options. I assume they're going to be standalone options you can get, uh, but also a lot of these options are going to be, uh, be included in some of your mid, high, and lux packages uh, together. So uh, a lot of the features in those are convenience features that are focused mainly on the interior of the vehicle. So let's talk about these intelligent access with push button start. So, uh, of course, you already have the push button start as standard equipment, but now intelligent access means you put your hand in a door handle, it's gonna unlock the vehicle for you. And that's just gonna be for the front doors. The remote start system. So you can have that right there on your remote, so you can pull the remote out, remote start the vehicle if you're close enough proximity. You don't have to wait and have the, the app load and to remote start the vehicle. You can upgrade, standard equipment is six beverage holders. I did not mention that. Uh, but you can upgrade. There is an option for eight total instead of six. Illuminated uh, sliding visor. Uh, so, of course, standard equipment, you do have visors. I didn't mention that. There's uh, little things uh, that I don't always mention, but the driver and front passenger, those can flip down. They'll be illuminated so you can see. Ambient lighting is also an optional equipment. So it does say footwell lighting. So assuming it will not open, uh, illuminate the cup holders or under the dash or anything. So just in the footwells down there. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror. So standard equipment is a day night mirror that you just flip. Uh, if you want cars to come up behind you with those bright lights, you can flip it to give you that, you know, the night uh, vision there. Uh, auto dimming, which means it will do it automatically for you. You don't have to adjust it. You can add uh, as an optional equipment, a dual smart charging USB ports, another type C and A on the dashboard itself. So instead of being there in front of the console, you can have another one up there on the dash uh, as well. Also, 110 outlet, which would be positioned behind the console uh, for those in the back, as well as you could probably run a cord to the front if you needed to, but a 110 outlet would be positioned back there. And then also you get a wireless charging pad, so some, several different options there that to help you uh, wire, to charge your different devices and the vehicle itself. Also, you're going to get a leather wrap steering wheel standard equipment, but you can get it heated as well. So you'd have a heated steering wheel. Also, you're going to get be able to have an option for heated front seats too, uh, and those both of those features could be worked with the remote starting feature. So you can go into your settings and make sure they're included in your remote starting feature. So when you want to start your vehicle uh, is on the auto setting, it'll remote, it'll heat up the steering wheel and your seats that way. So a couple different options you might think about. You can get the, uh, we've seen this in about all the uh, versions so far, the hard top sound deafening headliner. 
It uh, does require to have, of course, a hard top, so it's going to be available, uh, whether it be a two-door, it looks like, or four-door. Also, something that we haven't seen uh, very often, we did see it in the Outer Banks, and that's the adaptive cruise control. So that uh, can upgrade your traditional cruise to adaptive cruise uh, if you want to go with that, that option as a standalone option. Uh, may be included in the Lux package. We'll look at that when we get down to that. Also, if you're climate, you can upgrade from a single zone to a dual zone auto climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. You can kind of sit, you can see that on that image there, there is numbers you, so you can set it to 82 degrees, whatever uh, temperature you want to uh, uh, right there. B&O audio sound system. So you can upgrade from the standard stereo to a 10 speaker with a subwoofer. Uh, B&O, Bang & Olufsen, that's what Ford's gone to. They've gone from Sony to B&O in the last couple of years. Nice quality sound system, especially in this Bronco here. Now I also sync four. Uh, with the 8 in, or the you can go from the 8 inch to the 12 inch LCD screen. So that's a nice upgrade if you want to go with that. We've been seeing clips on a, a lot of different Ford uh, forums and such with the 12 inch. That is going to be optional equipment even on this, uh, this uh, model here. Uh, so you can upgrade to that giving you the nice big 12 inch uh, screen. Also to go along with that uh, as a different option is navigation system. So navigation, you have to order that separately. Uh, so voice activated navigation. I believe there's a, some sort of trail system in there um, uh, that I've seen, I, I heard a little bit about uh, where you kind of can record the different, your trail and such. And then you can, I think you can get that as uh, something you can upload to some different websites, maybe Bronco Nation or something like that, which uh, can be a really cool feature. Um, app link with app catalog. So that is standalone option not included as part of your Sync 4 system. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what that's going to entail. I'm assuming uh, different apps like Pandora and some apps like that that could be available for you to be able to use in your Sync 4 screen. You can also upgrade not only heated seats we talked about, but you can upgrade to leather. So you can go from the vinyl to the leather, no option for cloth in the, in the Badlands edition, but you can upgrade to the leather trim seats if you want to. A uh, leather trimmed ought to be able to wash out pretty well. Uh, you may not want to hose it down for long periods of time, but you should be able to wipe those down pretty well, just like with the vinyl. So if you want to upgrade with a little bit, little bit better material, uh, you can do that. And then you can also, for your four-door models, you can upgrade to power seat for the driver. And it looks like there's a separate one for the passenger seat. So they may be two separate. So especially if you're a driver, you don't care about the passenger over there, you get your 10-way power adjustable seat, or you can go ahead and order as another option the eight-way power passenger seat as optional equipment. So that's all your standards well as optional equipment for the interior. Let's move on up and talk about your powertrain and your engine, uh, also your wheels and tire combination. So to, starting with that, you're gonna, of course, just like on every other Bronco, you're gonna have the four-wheel disc brake with the analog braking system. Also, the electronic stability control is gonna be standard equipment. Trailer sway control is also gonna be standard equipment to help you out if you have any uh, trailers back that you're pulling help them control that. Uh, you're going to also have the uh, terrain management system. So that is, uh, of course, the, the, uh, with the seven GOAT modes. So we're seeing with the, uh, the Black Diamond as well as with this one, you get an extra GOAT mode. Uh, so that goes go over any type terrain uh, system there where it has uh, you just pretty much adjust for the different uh, whatever your terrain is, and it's going to adjust the 4x4 system for you. Uh, speaking of that, you will get the advanced 4x4 with the automatic on-demand engagement uh, is going to be standard equipment. So typically we see that part-time 4x4, standard equipment is going to be the automatic 4x4 here. Also electronic uh, traction control and also standard equipment with this is of course the electric parking brake. We see that as of course standard equipment about all of the Broncos. A couple things that we normally see as optional equipment in some of the other models and that's going to be the electronic locking front and rear axle standard equipment on the Badlands, as well as now we're going to we're going to see that it's not available in any other edition other than this one and the first edition, and that is going to be your uh, front stabilizer bar disconnect. So that's going to allow you to be able to disconnect that and be able to go up any kind of uh, mountain, especially big rocks, that kind of stuff, rough terrain. Uh, so this is where you're going to want that. So if you're definitely wanting that feature, this is where you're going to want it. First editions are already all uh, full. So the Badlands is probably what you're going to look at because it is the only other model that gets that is available and it will be standard equipment. One thing is really cool that standard equipment as well with the Badlands is they're, they're calling it the Badlands suspension, which is their Haas system, that high performance uh, suspension system. 
uh, that off-road suspension with the position sensitive Bilstein shocks. That's normally an optional equipment and we see it in a Sasquatch package, but it's going to be standard equipment for the Badlands Edition as well. Engine is going to be a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine, delivers 310 uh, pound-feet of torque with that engine. We'll talk about an option that you can upgrade to if you want to. 2.3 is a very capable engine, especially if you're going to do mainly make this for off-road. Uh, uh, plenty of power to be able to get up any kind of terrain that you might have with that. It will come standard in the seven-speed manual transmission for the two-door and the four-door version here. So that you will have that crawl mode or crawl gear, I should say, with this, uh, this manual transmission uh, too. And so uh, pretty cool that it's going to be uh, standard equipment. Uh, so that way you can have that option in a sense to have either a manual or an automatic uh, for this, this uh, model here. Also, it will have the e-pass system, electronic power assist steering. Uh, so that really helps out, helps you steer a little bit easier. We're going slower speeds, but on the highway, it's going to stiffen it up so that wind doesn't push you from side to side. The wheel and tire combination is going to be a 17 inch machine carbonized gray painted alloy wheel. So I'm kind of giving you a clip from their uh, first image that you see when you're reserving for this um, for the Badlands. So you can kind of see what that looks like on the vehicle. And it will come standard with a 33 inch mud terrain tire, all terrain is what they're calling it here. It's a 285 70 R15 R17. Uh, wheel combination here and that's going to be standard equipment uh, but we will see as we get to optional equipment that you can get an upgrade to that wheel and tire. So now talking about some uh, options for you on the uh, powertrain and your handling here, your power and handling section and of course one of the big upgrades is going to be the high clearance suspension. So you can upgrade, have it gives you more of a lift so if you want to do some serious off-roading you can get that high clearance suspension system there. And then a couple things for your trail. So you do have trail control. We did see this on the Raptor as well as the trimmer package for the Super Duty and even on the Ranger and their FX4 off-road package. So trail control for off-road does require to have the optional 10-speed automatic transmission uh, which I uh, haven't uh, really talked about yet. Uh, but 10 speed automatic will be a standalone option that you can get on the two door or the four door version. Uh, and uh, the trail control will require you to have the automatic transmission because basically it is like cruise control. So it's going to take care of all the shifting uh, for you when you're on the trail. So you have to set that speed between uh, zero or I think it's one and 19 or maybe one and 20. And it's going to go ahead and control and keep that speed going up the trail. And it takes care of any kind of bumps and uh, shifts for the tires and the slippage and anything like that. You also have trail turn assist, which also does require to have the 10 speed automatic transmission. Uh, so that could help you out as well. And then you do have the trail one pedal driving, which not only does require to have the automatic transmission, but it requires you to have the 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. So as you can tell, 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine is also available as optional equipment with the Badlands. Um, and with this one, it will give you, uh, I think, up to 400 pound-feet of torque, and I believe it's 310 horsepower as well. So very powerful uh, engine, 2.7 liter. Uh, I actually have it in my truck, and I think you'll be really pleased with that engine. Also, engine block heater is going to be optional equipment for you, so if you're in a cold weather state, it might be something you want to order on the vehicle as well. And a couple different optional wheels for you. You have a 17-inch uh, black high gloss painted forged wheel that is a beadlock capable wheel uh, and it'll have the uh, with carbonized gray ring on it or you have a 17 inch black high gloss painted forged alloy wheel with a warm alloy uh, ring around the outside both beadlock capable wheels so different kind of uh, basically the, the beadlock ring around the outside is going to be two different color options for you whether you want the carbonized gray or you want the warm alloy tire to go along with it is going to be a 35 inch mud terrain tire that's a 31570 r17 that's the tire that you see with the sasquatch package so those are your optional uh, equipment and standard equipment for your handling section now with the safety features these are all pretty uh, standard safety features there are some optional features that we haven't seen on some of them uh, I believe they were available in the Outer Banks, but not in the Black Diamond. So let's go through these real quickly. Of course, you do have your um, a post. Uh, you have a couple features here that are part of the Copilot 360, but not all of them are standard. So you will have the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Uh, so that's going to help you out, especially if a car in front of you stopped, you're not paying attention. It'll uh, hopefully try to engage that brake to lessen the severity of that accident. Also, you will have post-impact braking as well. That's going to be standard equipment. That's something we've just seen come about with Ford in the last year. Uh, so post-collision braking is going to help you out if you do have, end up having an accident and you're not engaging your brake at the time of the accident. 
it'll help break that even if you don't there. Talking about the personal safety system, you do have airbags in the vehicle. Uh, standard equipment on all your base models too. Dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger. Deploys a bit different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Side uh, front seat impact airbags, so they'll be deployed from the side of those front seats. Any side collision help protect those occupants in the front seats. As well as you'll have the first and second row safety canopy airbag that's going to deploy down with a rollover sensor. So you do have advanced track with roll stability control, so hopefully it'll help you keep you on your intended path and not have that rollover situation. But it could happen, especially if you're up there in the mountains or something and you get off some having those airbags uh, deploy will be uh, can help protect everyone in the vehicle. Uh, you will have tire pressure monitoring system that will help you with those tires. Monitor the pressure on those so you keep those inflated, especially when you're doing some off-roading, it'll be very important. Uh, you will also get the lower anchors and tethers for children, that latch system. So if you have any kids in car seats, especially for those in the, the four-door version, uh, you can anchor those uh, car seats down and booster seats into the back of those, uh, those back seats back there. And then you do have your primary alarm that help us, helps out. So if you have the vehicle locked, even if the windows are rolled down, somebody wants to come into the vehicle, it'll, uh, if you don't start the vehicle soon, it'll go off and tell, uh, tell people that, you, um, that somebody's in the vehicle there. Now let's talk about some optional equipment for safety. A few things we've seen before on some of the other models. Uh, you do have the keyless entry keypad that's available. That just allows you to be able to leave the keys inside if you want to, lock it up using the keypad, and you can use your own keypad to get in and out of the vehicle, unlock and locking the vehicle. Uh, also, you do have a couple things from the Copilot 360 kind of finishes that out that are optional equipment, and that's your lane keeping system. It helps you keep you in your lane. Uh, you have alert system as well as the aid system. So if you leave your lane, it alerts you if you use that system, or aid will help keep you in your lane. Also comes with driver alert. And then you do have your bliss with cross traffic alert, one of my favorite features. So it monitors your blind spot. So if someone's in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane. And as you back up, if someone's crossing your path behind you, it alerts you with some sense, some uh, tones that you need that you can't, shouldn't back up, as well as uh, lights up the mirror on the side they're coming from and puts a message on the dash there too. And then 360 degree camera is available as optional equipment. Uh, I put that under the safety, really more or less probably as an exterior feature, but uh, as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see completely around you, or even if you're going slow enough speeds, if you're going forward, you can turn that camera on and you can be able to see around you, kind of like in the video there, so you can kind of see that, hey, it could come in real handy in that kind of a situation, so you can see around you, uh, especially if you're going down any kind of like uh, mountain pass or any kind of rock type of terrain there. So that's all your safety features. Let's move on and talk about some of the different packages that are available. Uh, uh, where you can combine some of these optional features into these different packages. So let's kind of talk about some of these different packages now, uh, especially the mid package. The mid package is going to be available on the Badlands uh, model here, and it, it combines a lot of uh, features, convenience features, into this package. All of these features are available as standalone options. So if you, you might look and see, you know, when it's time to order, you might look and see if uh, it's, it's a good idea to go ahead and get these as a package, or if there's only a couple of these you like, just get them as standalone options instead. So let's drill through some of these. Won't talk too much about what the features are because we've already discussed that earlier in the video. So the mid package will include your intelligent access. So that allows you to be able to get in and out of the vehicle without having to uh, unlock the vehicle. Your 110 outlet, which will be positioned behind the center console. You'll have your ambient lighting to light up those foot wells. You also have dual zone auto climate controls. So uh, driver and front passenger have two different temperatures there. Heated front seats are going to be included with this package. Also your illuminated visor mirrors that we talked about. The remote start. So you remote start it with the uh, remote instead of having to use the app. Also your reverse sensing system that alerts you as you're backing up. Uh, that was uh, available under the exterior that we talked about. Navigation system is also included with this package. Uh, so it does give you the on-screen, whether it be the, the 8 inch touchscreen or if you decide to go with the optional 12 inch, uh, it will have the navigation. And then the, the Copilot 360 features, the complete system with the Bliss and your lane keeping are also going to be included in this mid package. So it includes quite a few features there. And let's talk about the high package. The high package takes everything from the mid we've talked about plus these other features. It upgrades from the 8 inch to the 12 inch touchscreen gives you the 360 degree camera as part of this package, 
also the front sensing system. So now you have a, a, a completely round, not to be able to see it completely round, but also in a sense have a total perimeter sensing system there. You'll also get additional sound deafening materials. So uh, it sounds like it's more than just on the roof. You're gonna also possibly get some things around the vehicle too to help make it a little bit quieter, especially on the highway. And then something we have not seen even as an optional equipment that's only available with this package or with the Lux package, and that's gonna be the LED security approach lamps and your spotlights on those exterior mirrors. Uh, so that's really cool feature, especially if you do a lot of you know, off-roading in the, in the, at night. This might be a package you might wanna think about getting the mid and the high if that's something they really want. Surprise, they don't make it a standalone option, um, but it is a part of the high package. Now let's talk about the Lux package, which combines the mid, the high, plus these extra features within that package. And again, um, most of these features except for two are available as standalone options. Now, Adaptive cruise control is included in this package, so you'll have that. So if you want, instead of that traditional, but the adaptive cruise, if you come behind somebody, it'll slow you down to go their speed until it's safe to resume. The B&O audio sound system with the 10 speakers and the subwoofer, part of this package. The heated steering wheel, as we talked about er earlier, can be actually controlled with remote start features. The extra USB ports on the dash, uh, also included uh, with this package. Navigation. Um, and actually navigation they listed in the mid, uh, but I think this is an upgraded navigation and includes some other extra features. So they don't actually, I break it down, they actually call it the same for both of them. So I'm not sure uh, how that, that's gonna work there uh, or exactly on that. We'll learn more probably about that when we get into the order guides and we start seeing those. A wireless charging pad is also included in the Lux package. And then two features are only available with this package. And one of them being the universal garage door opener. Puts those garage door openers up there so you can program those instead of having the remotes on the visor and flipping down and dropping in your lap. Uh, and then your evasive steering assist. So evasive steering assist, if you're in that situation where you're, you know that you're not gonna be able to brake in time, uh, even with a emer automatic emergency braking and you need to avoid that by turning, it's gonna help you uh, turn a little bit easier and quicker uh, in those types of situations uh, and keeping you will be able to turn but also stay on track and not if you're off the road, hopefully. So a little clip there that I found from that Ford had on their uh, YouTube channel there. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea on that. So those are three different you know, convenience packages and that's available with some exterior and interior features, some safety features as well, driver assist features. But let's talk about that Sasquatch package. This is, that package is available on every model, uh, also available with this. And some of these were standalone options, but a couple were only available with this package. Uh, so you will get the 17 inch black alloy beadlock capable wheels uh, as an upgrade with the 35 inch uh, mud terrain tires. Of course, 315-70-R17 with that. Uh, so as you can see, that really does upgrade that. Uh, and a little bit different, I uh, believe, uh, yep, same size as what's uh, as a standalone option. So you can get that wheel and tire combination uh, as standalone options there. Also part of this package, but it's already included as standard equipment is electronic locking front and rear axle. Uh, high clearance suspension is also uh, included in this package. So you wouldn't have to order as a standalone option. Um, uh, you do get with the Badlands, it's a Badlands suspension. So you're gonna get the Haas system, that high performance off-road suspension system, and it's gonna come with the Bilstein uh, shocks as well. So you're gonna get those with an upgraded position sensitive shocks that are gonna be included as standard equipment with that. Normally is available uh, as part of the Sasquatch package, but already gonna be standard equipment on your Badlands. A couple of features you can only get with this package, and that's gonna be your high clearance fender flares uh, with that. So it's gonna, instead of them being rounded at the end, they're gonna be more flat, so it would allow for more clearance without them rubbing on those fenders. Uh, and then also the 470 gears uh, are available. Now, if you do, uh, you know, we did, f we have found out that the Sasquatch package is not available with the seven speed manual transmission. It does require the automatic. Uh, one thing that we're, we've noticed is most of these features can be ordered, a couple of them are already standard equipment on your Badlands edition, but they can be ordered as optional equipment. The only things that can't be ordered as optional equipment is the fender flares and the 470 gears. But if you want the manual transmission, it will come with the 460s. The only thing you're really losing out on is those fender flares. More than likely, Ford's gonna make those available uh, later uh, that you can get through Ford parts uh, department if you wanted to, 
And what we found out too is those fenders can come off real easily. Uh, looks like they just have some little uh, knobs that you just turn and you can take those fenders completely off as well. Uh, so if you're going to do some serious off-roading, you could just take those off uh, if you need to. So a couple things to think about when you're looking at that Sasquatch package. A lot of people complain that they can't get that package with the manual transmission, but uh, really if you look at it, you could probably go ahead and get all those things as standalone options, high clearance suspension, the wheels and tires. Um, and then still get your manual transmission, that might be a way for you to order those, uh, those different options for you. So, uh, so those are all your uh, standards as well as optional equipment, including the different packages available for the Badlands. So hope you really enjoyed that video. I uh, try to be as thorough as I could, include everything uh, that I can think of uh, and uh, go over that. So again, Badlands is a very uh, versatile, I think, uh, model there for you. Um, it is for that extreme off-roader uh, that wants that. A lot of similar equipment than the Black Diamond Edition, with the exception that there's some uh, standard suspensions, electronic locking that's going to be standard equipment, as well as your, uh, your uh, stabilizer bar disconnect that can only be available with this package, standard equipment, um, and some things like that. But it gives you the option, if you want, to take that Black Diamond, which only gets the mid package available, and gives you the option to be able to, to add the high package or the luxe package uh, onto uh, this this back this edition here. So, uh, especially those that want to do some extreme off-roading, but they still want some of those comfort features, Badlands might be what you're wanting to look at there. Uh, so this may be a good model for you. So, how do you reserve your own uh, Bronco? Well, you can go to Ford's website, or better yet, uh, go to our website. Go to LawMacArthur.com. Uh, under the new tab, you can go down to the new Ford Bronco offers. Uh, I mentioned earlier, it gives you our Bronco page. It's getting updated daily uh, with different information, but there's a link there to reserve yours right through Law MacArthur. Click on that, and it puts Law MacArthur as your dedicated dealership uh, to uh, have it delivered to. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, we do free shipping. So if you want to reserve yours through us, uh, we can ship it to you for free. Uh, that's something we do. Uh, there is a, a, we, I'm very transparent about this. In all of my videos, we do transport for free. Uh, we do ask you to finance a vehicle with us. Most people are planning on doing that anyway, so it's not a big deal to do that. Uh, the lenders give us enough kickback, hopefully, to cover some of the costs of the shipping. Uh, as we've looked at some of the pricing guides, we know that the Broncos are not priced up from MSRP from invoice very high. Uh, so it's not like we're making a lot there to be able to pay for that. But if you finance with us, we can do that easily. And uh, just for just for fun, we're also throwing in a Bronco jacket. So if you want it order from a, a dealership that's very passionate about the Bronco model and the Bronco lineup and knows a lot about these Bronco vehicles and have dedicated Bronco salespeople that can help you out, uh, go ahead and get it delivered and get ordered from uh, to Law MacArthur and have it delivered right to your door. You don't have to leave your house. We can do all the paperwork once we figure out the ordering and everything like that pretty easily by email and by phone. So uh, take advantage of that if you want to with our free shipping right there. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can call or send us a text message. Numbers are on the screen as well as our email or as our website right there. So you can contact us that way. We have chat service available on our website during business hours. Uh, so feel free to contact us. Leave your comments down below. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Don't forget, if you like some of this, this video or some of our other videos, you may uh, enjoy some of our other Ford model videos. So subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that red subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified the next time another video upload to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, you can find us on social media as well. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're always doing some giveaways on there as well as Ford News uh, updated. We also do some nice uh, stuff on on Instagram with images of some of our inventory and different specials we have going on here at Law MacArthur. Uh, we're a, a very passionate dealership with our Ford lineup. And also, if, you, if you're into off-roading, you may want to check out some of our truck off-road packages we do as well. And there's some videos under those different performance uh, playlists on our YouTube channel. Check those out too. Uh, so really uh, hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you enjoyed going through the different trims. We have one left to go through on that wild track. So be looking for that video. And until that one, we'll see you later. Kid off road tires with B log zone. Dude, it's kind of little attitude, ain't it, grand? It does the mud as well as the sand. It defines me who I am.